One of the things that's so interesting about the one tool, probiotics, it has far reaching benefit, immune system health, food tolerance, and the stress response, which is one of the reasons why we chronicle the research here on the podcast. So let's kick things off with a few studies helping us to better understand how probiotics improve immune system function. If you remember way back into the COVID days, the, the meat of the bell curve of, of COVID, I was calling out that it would make sense that probiotics could help with COVID. I was cautious, not wanting to put a recommendation out there before there was due evidence to support it. But now we're seeing more and more studies showing benefits for COVID amongst other things. And this is because your gut is one of the main areas, really 70% of your immune system is in your small intestine specifically. So with that in mind, Let's look at a 2023 randomized control trial, 30 patients with weak immune systems due to HIV. Now this poses a model to see what effect will probiotics have in those who are immunocompromised. They were given a blend of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. There was also some strep thermopolis in there, which is another one that you may see in the mixture predominated by lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. Dose. 20 billion per day. And what they found compared to the placebo was that probiotics increased levels of white blood cells. Now, this should make sense if you bear in mind white blood cells, the, the main soldier of your immune system, not the only one, but certainly uh, a crucially important factor in immune function are your white blood cells. They're made by your bone marrow and by your lymphatic tissue. Connect that to the fact that we have this whole area known as your gut associated lymphatic tissue or your GALT. There's a tremendous amount of lymph tissue in the gut. So one of the primary areas where we produce white blood cells is the gut. And therefore, it would make sense that an intervention like probiotics, which helps the gut function better, would lead to an improvement in white blood cells. Now, what's going on underneath the surface here? We can speculate, and I feel this to be somewhat reasonable speculation. We know that many biological systems require hormetic stressors, meaning your bones without the stress of gravity will become brittle. Your muscles without strength training or some sort of resistance will become atrophied. And our immune systems require stimulation, just like muscles and bone, to function in a healthy fashion. And this is one of the things that probiotics seem to do. We've discussed all the receptors that the probiotics will trigger, like these PRRs or pattern recognition receptors. Just picture a receptor in the lining of the gut that needs to be stimulated, just like a muscle needs to be stimulated. And these toll-like receptors, most chiefly toll-like receptor four, which regulates leaky gut. That receptor needs to be stimulated just like bone needs to have pressure put upon it or it becomes osteopenic or osteoporotic. It shouldn't be surprising here to see that in immunocompromised individuals, sadly with HIV, that the use of probiotics led to a measurable increase in their white blood cell count. By the way, this has been helpful. Please comment and subscribe. Okay, so let's go a step further. 2023 randomized control trial, 70 children with acute diarrhea. They were given bifidobacterium anomalous. So when we look at the blends of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium, one that may be included is bifidobacterium anomalous. And in some cases, they'll use just that probiotic. My preference is to use a blend, but you'll see some studies just like this using one. At a dose of 10 billion CFU per day, the probiotic reduced duration of diarrhea by two days, which is remarkable, especially if the length of diarrhea, let's say on average, I'm just guessing here, was five days. That's a pretty substantial reduction. It's also to make the point that the expectation shouldn't be if you're on or if you give your child probiotics, they'll never have diarrhea or a bout of acute diarrhea like this, but it will shorten the duration. And the same thing holds for cold and flu. So just bear that in mind. And one other study here in a similar vein, 2023 randomized control trial, 182 healthy subjects. They were given a lactobacillus probiotic at a dose of 50 billion per day. So now a little bit higher of a dose. And the probiotics led to 10 fewer sick days over a six month period. Again, I would consider this highly substantial. We discussed 
the improvement in white blood cell production, that in and of itself is going to be helpful. 